You ever see something that was so disgusting it made you want to throw up? Away, 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 away. Did y'all hear that? This video is brought to you by Extreme Tees. Click on the link below. Make sure you put Kevin in the promo code and you'll get a 20% discount. What's going on, America? Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. And did y'all see that? You see that meme right there? Um, look, the death of George Floyd. What is Joe Biden doing right there? Huh? What is he doing? Yeah, bending down in solidarity. Got his hands crossed. Always taking a knee, even though his raggedy butt could barely get up off of his knee. Same thing with Nasty Pelosi. All of them. What are they doing? Pandering, y'all. And it burns me up because... They pander to minorities, to black folks, to illegal immigrants. But then when it comes down to soldiers that they're responsible for, the loss of their lives, this is what Joe is doing. He's checking his watch, got his hand up there superficially. Yeah, how long is this going to last? So get out of here. You know, I got some more pandering to do to black people and to uh, other folks that don't even live in our country. But that's what the Democrats are about. But the one that really burns me up is that darn nasty Pelosi. Check this out. What was Nancy Pelosi okay with doing this? George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Alan Barbary, Boston John, Terrence Preacher, Jordan Davis, Oscar Grant, Philando Castillo, Freddie Gray, Walter Scott, Tamir Rice, Michael Brown, Eric. But not okay with doing this. Nancy, you're a disgraceful politician. You should resign immediately. Nancy is a disgraceful politician who should resign immediately. And same thing with uh, Joe Biden and the rest of them. See, so this right here is worse than seeing something so disgusting that you want to throw up because of the visual. Just knowing how these people operate. Watching her sit up there and pander. She didn't even know George Floyd's name. Thank you, uh, George Floyd, for your sacrifice. She called him George Kirby. B Biden didn't know his name. Uh, you know, when I saw G uh, George on that curb, you think they care about all those people's names she just read off? I mean, without that list, she wouldn't have known any of these people. She probably was like, I'm about to go out and do some pandering. I need one of my aides to put together a pander list. And went out there and just read those names. Probably had to go over them several times to get them right. Um, how do you pronounce this again? Brianna what? Taylor? No, it's Taylor, ma'am. Oh, Taylor. Yeah, whatever. And went out there and pandered. But then blocked them reading the 13 names of the fallen soldiers. As a result of Joe Biden's negligence. I wonder why she did that. Probably because she doesn't want to bring attention to how horrible Joe Biden's decision was and how she got up there and supported it. I want to say that I'm proud of the president and his decisiveness. Yeah, she don't want American people remembering those names because they're associated with the Democrats' decisions that cost all those lives. But yet, she want to get up there and read all these black people's names so she can pander and use racism as another divisive weapon to try to win black votes, win, you know, of course, uh, other minorities' votes, win white liberals' votes, demonize Trump and all them. Because, see, conservatives got the ability to see through what they're doing. That's why they don't jump on that bandwagon of pandering, because they know what they're doing. The Democrats use this effectively. They jump out there, they pander, and then they require that their opponents do the same type of pandering and adopt the same type of narratives that they push, knowing that they're not going to do that, because we know that racism isn't one of the biggest issues in America. We know that if you are black or whatever, and you do some of the things that I've seen them do to get themselves shot, it's most of the time a legitimate shooting. They know we're able to see things reasonably and logically, and we're not going to compromise that to pander or to encourage this type of negative behavior, divisiveness, uh, these rumors, these narratives, all of that stuff. We're not going to do it. They know that. So they do it. And then they say, since we got a population of folks who don't understand that's what we're doing, they think we're fighting for justice and fighting against racism. We're going to do it 
demand that people on the right do it or Republicans do it. And when they don't, then we get a chance to accuse them of being racist. They won't even say Black Lives Matter. They won't even say Breonna Taylor's name. They won't even say George Floyd's name. It's a dirty, nasty trick. It's disgusting. And it shows that they're panders. They don't love this country. They don't want to be held accountable for their choices or their failings. And Nancy Pelosi just demonstrated it. And yet, I'm pretty sure if she ever runs again, some people are going to vote for her. But not me. Okay. Now, God bless y'all. God bless America. We will see y'all next time in Kevin's Corner. Now I'm going to go throw up. Take care. Bye. Now God bless y'all. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share my videos. Also, don't forget to donate if you like. Kevin's Corner. There are links in the bottom of this video. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like the products, put Kevin in the promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. And um, what else? Oh, find me on Rumble in the Jungle. All right, God bless you all next time in Kevin's Corner. Take care.